Welcome back guys, this is Ajim Dali Diu, this is Ananda Tudu Yo. Uh, in today's video, this is uh, what we are going to create. We are going to create a navigation uh, with a drop down menu in it, okay? And the drop down menu is a zigzag drop down menu. Let me show you, it is the home and it is the drop down menu and at, here you can see is the zigzag. Here is the first one and second and so on is the services contact us about us okay this is a, this is what we are going to create without further ado um let's get started open your code editor okay and here's my main folder um let's create a index that html click okay and we will need two files one index.html and style.css right away let's create style.css okay we have index and style.css now let's start with uh, style.css or uh, index.html first and let me let me know uh, i'm going to put a zigzag put the title name Okay, um, okay, now let's continue. The first thing we need, let's create our link uh, to connect our style.css, okay. Uh, quick, let's pass our on the list. Uh, for this reason, I create a class. I'm going to call this class uh, drop the drop down. This is how I call my okay. And we need a list here. Uh, let me bring this up. Okay. Call our first uh, here for the after the list. Okay, we create a UL list. And our first list, let's uh, name it. I'm going to name it home. This is how you create it. And let's run the first line of code. Let's run, right click. Okay. Here we go. We have home. We have home here. And after that, let's create a, we need an li. Okay, UL, we, we, uh, we get a class called drop down zigzag and we get li. And now we, we need um, um, a second li to um, like a, uh, serve as a wrapper to wrap everything. We say li and then bring this down. And also now to create the drop down menu. And the first thing we need, let's create, okay, and we name this one and don't forget uh, here for the ul put a class here and let's name this class i'm going to name it sub sub menu and here after the ul we need an anchor tag here and to pass name that we call uh, drop down uh drop down menu like this Okay, oh, I can make it, let's make this bigger for you. Okay, let me make it this way. Okay, okay. Now, 
and we have a uh, uh, drop down if we uh, go and save it uh, we go and save it and okay go to file save all and now we can see we have it here okay now second thing let's uh, continue we have um, anchor tag here put uh, our drop down menu here we have sub menu now let's create our sub menu inside here by create a list and anchor tag like this and leave it blank and put our first name i'm going to call it man man clothing and what we can do we can uh, duplicate this one and put uh, we need a four okay we got four and i'm going to uh change uh this one okay this now next after the closing li we go uh, next after the closing li okay we create another list that this that one um this one is uh the one that we let me show you uh when we say services contact us about us this is the one that i'm going to create services we done with uh, we have home and drop down menu here home drop down menu now let's create our services and uh we use uh, okay and we need three line that um duplicate this one three line of code services and also we need and we need um about us like this and save everything and here we go okay now uh we done uh this part is done for our css our uh, html is done okay our html is done let now let's open let's go straight and add our css css code okay this is all we need guys okay all right now we have started that css and okay here for our css we can go here okay let's go uh, jump straight now the first class we have we have uh, 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 zigzag here um, copy we need to uh, put it here okay this is a zigzag after okay display table this is like after uh, we need we need to clear both side if we save everything Okay, and that continue. We need a. Um, uh, now this time we need a um, zigzag like this. Also, we need a. Uh, we have to zoom it. That's why I use um, uh, for the zoom. Let's put one. Okay. Also, now let's work with our drop uh, down. We're done with the zag. Let's take the first one. We can probably work with. Okay. Um, that put a drop down. Uh, this is the drop down here, and then let's take a sub menu with the drop down. We have a drop down here, also, we have a sub menu. Let's uh, put both together. Put a, a drop down, put a comma, and put that and paste sub menu right here. Let's remove our uh, that and underline list style type display none 
save everything okay as you can see now let's um, we need uh, that the drop down again now uh, uh, for the 50 pixel order most fit and content also we need the um, Next line of code, uh, we need the last uh, width. I'm going to say last width of fit. Okay, we done. Okay, this is starting off. Next. Uh, now for the drop down li because we have uh, after drop down here, as you can see, we have li and we have a. Now let's uh, work with uh, li first and add some code here. Our bag, uh, we need a background uh, for, let, let me add uh, the color. Here we need a uh, 34, uh, 49, uh, 5e like this. Okay. Also I'm going to uh, float everything on this side float left okay uh, because uh, when you float left here and save everything when you float left it move on this side to the right because we've, now you force it okay um for the our uh, position relative and also we need um, transform Now, uh, drop down here. We say display. We want to display everything block and save everything. Okay. For the color. Is our color um, text transform? Uh, we need the uh, uppercase. That's I'm going to put uh, everything. Put everything uppercase. You can put a lowercase if you want. Also, um, text decoration uh, none. For the font family, I'm going to use. Um, Okay, yeah, and Arabic. we don't need to say if yet. Okay, Arabic. also with the font size, I'm going to put a 14 pixels. Save everything now. You can see, uh, here we will fix everything. Okay, now we need, um uh, drop down and the the background is the color E of uh, seventy four C three C okay is our drop down now uh, Uh, negative 25 degree at this time and 
padding. Now let's work with um, if we save everything as you can see um, okay almost there um, let's work with our sub menu at this time I'm um, going to take at this time I'm going to uh, take our sub menu so our sub menu paste it here okay um, paste it here this is our sub menu with our position ab absolute uh, width of our left to be 50 pixel and I need um I would need them um, uh, okay margin left uh, to be negative 100 pixel uh, we need a transform origin to be left top still using the sub menu a line at this time and background color is the color we need on 34 49 5e like this and our position to be our relatives also any over because uh, here we have overflow um let's say overflow hitting on here okay and save everything okay so far okay okay well let's fix uh um now let's fix this by uh let's work in with um sub menu at this time okay we need the padding of Save everything, okay. Almost there. Now sub sub menu it all again. Okay. After Position up absolute at this time. I want to uh, put up a percent instead of a pixel and in the height of. Um, shadow to be we could see wall we to put zero to be zero zero Uh, that 0 0.9 okay uh, 0, 0, 050 I'll put here yeah, okay yeah now um, next uh, we need the uh, sub it's a sub menu okay uh, 
child, yeah. Transform. Translator uh, X not 3D. This guy here. Zero. Okay. Um, copy this line and paste it here. Uh, let me make some changes. Sub menu and line. Okay. At this time, we'll go here. Put A like this. Transform. Um, not uh, negative plus 25 degree and then not uh, cut the rest uh, do the same thing uh, paste it again uh, make some changes here put after and go inside put right and negative 50 uh, percent also transform uh, this is fine negative 25 degree now not translate x not I'm going to say this one is a what it three degree uh, because now uh, we have to fix the see um, we have to make sure shape the this side okay and we need uh, pretty much the same thing copy and paste it again uh, if we copy this line and paste it here um, now at this time after put it down um, this is a what it and we're going to sub menu and the same thing now I'm going to say even okay and remove this part and transform okay 25 degree yeah, this I'm going to say um, translate X here and put a no, zero. Okay, and go here, paste it again, and now this line we need um, sub uh, menu and put um, even. Okay even here okay keep the rest of it transform uh, okay this is I put negative here at this time and do the same thing paste it again and let's uh, make some changes at this time I'm going to say go here after and put even Okay, even after and go inside, we need left. Okay, and what did this one do? 3 degree. Okay, save everything. Okay, almost. Now let's shape it a little bit. And okay, now uh, I'm going to say sub menu and sub menu again. Li. Now put our opacity to set the opacity to set the opacity to zero. Okay, set the opacity to zero and visit. Yeah, visibility should be hidden right here. Okay. The transition should be two seconds for the um, ease um, transform. Okay, and 
Okay. Sub menu. Uh, we need um, the drop down. The same thing. Okay. CD to one and need a visibility to visible. Okay. Also now drop down. And put up, uh, yeah, sub menu um, li yeah, this guy even okay, yeah, transform. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to, let's copy this line of code, block of code, and yeah, paste it here. Okay, um, let me make some changes. Drop down li. Okay, hopefully this is fine. Sub menu li. Okay, chunk. Um, remove event. Put odd and transform skew at uh, negative 25 here degree to the next negative. 15 save everything and here we go okay uh let me probably yeah we done guys uh let me fix this because of this move on this side okay let's fix because i we when we open this let's see and is the original one as you can see is the only working way okay let's fix that to see what's going on probably uh miss a uh, semicolon or something okay here we have a red flag okay here we have here we have a red flag as you can see view problems okay online uh, this is a block code block of code i forgot to put a semicolon at the end of position relative on job uh drop down a line put a semicolon here okay on this line put semicolon put semicolon here and go to file save everything and let's see okay there we go this is fixed okay as you can see guys this is pretty cool okay zigzag drop down this is pretty cool okay and this is where this is where we stop guys i'm going to stop here and catch you in the next one see you bye bye